We've joined forces with some of our amazing partners to put together the ultimate waterfowler package. Each package is valued at $15,000. Every package includes a Browning Maxis 2 shotgun, 500 rounds of Browning shotgun shells, a $1,500 gift certificate to Gunner Kennels, a $1,500 gift certificate to Rough Tough Seat Covers, a Leopold Optic Package, a $1,000 gift certificate to Bass Pro and Cabela's, an NRA Lifetime Membership, a Ducks Unlimited Gear Package, and best of all, a Waterfall Hunt for Two presented by Worldwide Trophy Adventures. For a chance to win, all you have to do is follow the link to enter. It's that easy. You can also earn extra entries a bunch of different ways, and you can enter to win every day. Good luck and enjoy the series. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and also click on the bell to be notified when we drop new videos. Don't always do what I should. I'd be better if I thought well, that was pretty freaking awesome. I'm a sucker for adrenaline. Every villain is. Out of three movies. Everybody trying to change my ways. But I live oh. just to see you break. I'm a sucker for adrenaline. Every villain is. Airport bound again. This time for Oklahoma. Main species we're going after is a crane of all things. And then uh, probably a good chance to get in some Canadian geese and a bunch of snow geese. Hoping for a raw, some blue, regular snow goose. It'd be a heck of a trip. Anyway, leaving the snow here in Michigan. Not going to be much warmer there, but it is going to be warmer. Well, first morning here in Oklahoma. It's frost on the ground, getting everything loaded up. We're going to head out crane hunting here. Guys, we've got a field spotted that's got about 1,500 in it, so it should be a pretty good morning. First morning in Oklahoma, and we're going after cranes today. Already seeing the snow behind us, the field the guys have scouted, their tracks everywhere. They look almost, I mean, identical to turkey track. So it's been pretty crazy. Bringing out decoys, which are by far the biggest decoys I've ever set in my life. So this is gonna be an awesome morning. They got a pretty sweet set here. They got about 1,500 cranes in the field that they saw last night. So it should be a pretty awesome morning. Got our blinds tucked in there's this old oil well and we've got them right on the hillside here we've got tumbleweeds blocking us in and a little bit of snow on top so wind's perfect birds are actually roosting on a river about 15 16 miles away from here so it's crazy how far they fly each day to feed but everything looks perfect the guys had it scouted out so it should be an awesome morning when they get up they kind of hop and stage from different fields um, they might sit in the field for 20 30 minutes hang out peck around and they'll get up and start trickling out just like geese do out of a roost and they'll uh, just kind of bounce fields bounce fields and they work their way to another field all day eating that field all day and then same thing work their way back that's the program we're on the last field feed field Absolutely. Well, that was pretty freaking awesome. Head on that thing. White chin, red crest. Awesome.
<laughs> no. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. I almost went on that single and I'm like, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? He's all excited. Well, that was a heck of a morning right there. This is crane number three for a limit. This is uh, pretty late season for cranes. Normally they don't decoy like this, so it's pretty awesome. We're gonna get this, get picked up, head and go do some goose hunting this afternoon. Sandhill Crane in Oklahoma. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. It's huge. And the way that they fly, they just work into the spread and they just hesitate and go slow. They can just pick apart everything, which was so key that we were tucked in so good. I mean, sitting back here now and looking at where we're at, we were, we were hitting pretty good. That is amazing. Just getting everything set up behind us. We've got a larger group going out today for Canadians and snows. We're gonna put out a big spread here. There's probably about 5,000 birds in here, 500, 600 snows or whatever. So it should be a good morning. There's no wind right now, but it's supposed to pick up 10 miles or so right when it hits daylight. So it should be just about perfect. Hoping for a redemption morning after last night. Pretty slow last night and didn't get a lot to commit. Hoping that changes this morning. My seat like not stand up. Snow down. Snow goose down. Yeah. I have to admit, I was playing with my GoPro in here when you said that. I was like, what? Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. A Ross snow goose. Awesome. Sweet morning this morning I was able to take a raw snow goose and then a Canadian goose. This is a, obviously a lesser Canadian, but pretty awesome morning here in Oklahoma. Lots of shooting, lots of birds working, and topped it off with that one right there. We just pulled in and we're scouting a field for tomorrow morning. It looks like it's loaded up with snows and Canadians. Just gonna grab the binos out here and take a better look. That is a lot of Canadian geese right there.
Well, we're just getting everything set. We're at the field where we scouted last night, so we know there's a ton of birds in here. Just shuttling decoys and people back out in blinds. It takes a few trips with the ground. It's semi-frozen right now, but by the time we pull everything out, it'll be a muddy mess. But we know there's a ton of birds in here. There's not a lot of wind right now, but it's supposed to pick up at daylight, so it should be a pretty darn good morning, fingers crossed. Well, just getting everything set up in the blind here. It's pretty sweet because our feet are literally at a water's edge. This has kind of been the area where the birds come in to loaf during the day and set up before they go to the fields. And there has been a ton of birds in here, like a couple thousand, so it should be a pretty awesome morning. Very low grass back here, so had to brush the blinds in pretty good. We got decoys surrounding us trying to break us up too. Hoping the wind picks up at daylight and then it's time to go. Just wrapped up an awesome morning had a couple of groups of geese that did it this morning picked up a few ducks we're going to take off now go change real quick and we're actually going to head out in a helicopter this afternoon and do some hog hunting from a helicopter which i've been wanting to do my whole life so it should be pretty sweet after reminiscing about the helicopter hunt we did here, my thoughts quickly turned back to picking up my first sandhill crane. Although it wasn't as big as the tundra swan from North Dakota, it did remind me of something I should have seen off a Jurassic Park movie. One of the most interesting things here for me was to observe how to identify where to hunt these birds. We didn't hunt over water, and I couldn't help but feel like we were doing something wrong. It felt more like a goose hunt, but the premise was the same find the food, and set up where they want to be. The one common denominator all season has been location. No matter the species, if we weren't where the birds wanted to be, there was nothing we could do to make them appear. Scouting is where these hunts are defined. If not done with persistence, how you execute your setup is irrelevant. Thanks for watching the episode this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned as we'll have more amazing giveaways coming from our partners in the weeks ahead.